So let's take it our first uh, look at, at our first example. We have a rectangular solid here, four centimeters wide, three centimeters tall, and into the board it's five centimeters deep. So what we're trying to do when we find volume is how many cubes will fit, not squares, but cubes will fit inside of this object where each cube is one centimeter tall and one centimeter wide and one centimeter deep. So let's first look at only the bottom layer of this object. The bottom layer, remember, is four centimeters wide and five centimeters deep into the board. So if it's four centimeters wide, there must be one, two, three, four cubes that can fit each with one centimeter long. And deep, we should have one, two, three, four, five cubes that can fit that direction because they're five centimeters deep. And each cube has to be one centimeter long. So how many cubes are in this layer? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Notice that four times five is 20. So that gives you the answer of how many cubes? 20. Now, how many are in the total thing? We have 20 on the first layer. So we have, and there's three centimeters tall. So there must be three layers of cubes. So there's 20 and then 20 and then also 20. So the answer is counting by 20s, 20 and then 40 and then 60 uh, tall there. So the volume and how many cubes are gonna fit in there is 60 cubic centimeters, 60 cubic centimeters. Now I'm actually looking at this and I'm, I'm thinking to myself, this is very familiar because I, I'm looking at this and this is the, one of the same problems we did in the last lesson. That's my fault, I, I printed out two of the same ones. Sorry about that. So the volume of this is 60 cubic centimeters. But let's just for giggles, change it a little bit. Let's make it instead of three centimeters, let's make it, let's make it go up a little bit more like this something like this. So there's another layer here. So the actual distance is instead of three, let's make it four centimeters. So instead of everything's the same, four and then five, and then instead of three, it's four. So what's that going to change? There's still going to be 20 uh, uh, cubic centimeters in the bottom, and then another 20 and another 20. But if we add a layer, there'll be another 20. So altogether, it'll be 20 on the la bottom layer, then 40, then 60, then 80. In that case, the volume would be 80 cubic centimeter. I just wanted to change the problem a little bit because I, I did print this out and it's the same. But if you add a layer to the top of this, you'll have another 20 for a total of 80 cubic centimeters. All right, let's take a look at the next uh, rectangular prism. Two meters wide, five meters tall, four meters deep into the board. How many cubes will fit into the bottommost layer? Well, if it's two meters wide and four meters deep, there'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because there has to be four cubes this way and two cubes this way. There's a total of eight. Remember, two times four is eight. So eight cubes in that bottommost layer. So if there's eight cubes in this layer, and eight, and eight, and eight, and eight, how many altogether? It's gonna be eight times one, two, three, four, five. Eight times five is 40. So the volume is 40 cubic meters. 40 cubic meters, that's the final answer. Now, remember I told you you can get the volume by multiplying Two times four is eight, eight times five is 40. So the formula holds length times width times height. All right, here's our next problem. Here is actually a real cube because all of the dimensions are all three. So three millimeters wide, three millimeters tall, and three millimeters deep into the board. How many cubic millimeters will fit? Let's first take a look at only the first layer at the bottom. Well, if it's three millimeters wide, and three millimeters deep, there must be three cubes, one, two, three millimeters that fit this direction, and one, two, three millimeters that fit this direction. So there has to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cubes in the bottom layer. Notice that three times three is nine. So there's nine cubes in that bottom layer. How many layers total do we have? One layer, two layers, three layers. So it's nine, then nine more is 18, nine more is 27. Another way to think about it, if is there's nine here, Nine times three is 27. So the volume is 27 cubic millimeters. Notice that if you didn't have the cubes here, all you would have to do is three times three is nine, nine times three is 27, and that would be the volume in cubic millimeters. All right, now here's our last problem. We have a little skyscraper here, two centimeters tall, I'm sorry, two centimeters wide, six centimeters tall, and two centimeters deep into the board. Let's take a look only at this first layer down here at the bottom. It's two centimeters wide and two centimeters deep. So there has to be one, two cubes, each of one centimeter this way, and one, two of each of this way. So altogether, it makes four cubes uh, altogether when you add them all up. 
four cubes in the bottom layer. But how many layers do I have? I have four cubes here, and then four, and then four, and then four, and then four, and then four. So really I have four times one, two, three, four, five, six. Four times six is 24. So 24 cubic centimeters because that's how many cubes will actually fit in there. Notice that two times two is four, and then four times six is 24 cubic centimeters. So if you haven't noticed, when we multiply length times width times height, what you're really doing is you're multiplying the base and you're getting the area of the bottom because remember area is just length times width and the bottom of these things are all squares or uh, all either rectangles or squares at the bottom here. Uh, there. When we multiply the two numbers at the bottom, we're getting the area of the bottom. But then when we multiply times the height, we're it kind of expanding in the vertical direction and figuring out how many cubes we have. So that's why it's length times width times height. Here I've just wanted you to mostly count and understand kind of what's going on, but also to know that multiplying the numbers does give the correct answer. And in the next lesson we'll do more problems with volume. We won't be counting cubes, we will just be calculating. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.